Hey guys! Terry and Trey. Too close to you. Get off, mate! Get off! Get off! Take notes! London calling! London City! <laughs> So guys, what's up? Terry and Trey here, live from London. What a day. Uh, landed today. We're still pretty jet lagged. We're drinking some coffee. It's the end of the day here. It's like 10 o'clock right now. Actually, let's take a step back. Here's how we got to London. Guys, this is it. It is time. We're going to London. NBA London. New York Knicks got the Trier hoodie that people have been stealing. We're going to talk about that. A lot of great stuff coming, guys. Going to go meet up with Trey. Waiting for the Uber. See you guys soon. Let's go Knicks. It's Trey. What's all up? Nick's here all day. Just see us embarrassing everyone in GFP. What up, guys? Getting on the plane, heading to London to watch our New York Knicks play. Represent it all day. Represent. I right, see you guys there. Got our baggage, representing. <laughs> Excited for, for the activities today. Yep, a uh, lot planned this week. Stay tuned. We did it, we did it. Here we are. Yeah, we get picked up by famous actors. London City. Just called an Uber, I had to put on my English accent. So now I'm kind of stuck with that for when we get inside the cab. It's starting, you see. But we're repping it's our gonna, It's gonna come real natural for me too. We're heading to Knickerbocker Pub. Yes, it's a real place. Apparently there's something going on there. It's a surprise, we got invited. We're gonna see what happens. Peace out guys, Terry and Trey live in London. Cheers. We're on Shepherd Street and we're about to go to the Knickerbocker Bub, Pub. Um, the accent and, is strong, what the what, hell? see what's going on. She's gone, I didn't just, know. Who, just came out of nowhere. I know now. who this is anymore. I slipped back in it. <laughs> Live from London with a full Brit accent. So and this is where my, I'm from. This is my hometown. One of the reasons we kind of decided to come for this game. And now, um, having to talk to everyone, the accent has totally slipped back in. Yeah, so it's... deal with me for right tonight, right? Or for the next for the next few days that we're here. Deal with the English accent. <laughs> Welcome to British Tree. Uh, what do you guys say? So we um, got in. We just had a really cool event at the Knickerbocker. The so aptly named. So tired right now. We're but so tired. yeah, the, the, the Knickerbocker pub. Right. Um, we actually got invited to two events tonight. So one was the seed event, which was the uh, NBA Africa event, which we went to first, and then to the Knickerbocker Pub, which was great. We got to meet quite a lot of the uh, New York Knicks alumni. Earl the Paul Monroe, amazing. We spent him. the whole night We've chilling much at a table with, him for, like, the whole night. with Earl Monroe. You know how insane it was? I saw Check him come in. Pictures. I saw him come in, and I'm like, is that Earl? I'm like, no way. Like, I'm not even expecting him to be here. So cool. And Trey just spilled coffee. And it's on my foot, but I'm not reacting because the show must go on. But really cool. What was really dope, though, about the players that Trey goes through a meltdown is the fact that all the alumni are so involved with the Knicks. And they def genuinely love their time in New York. And they want to see us good again. So that was great to see. Uh, but we got to talk about last night's game. Um, Kevin Knox, career high 31 points. Um, of course, another loss. Started with a blowout, but they really came back well. 
Um, lost by three in the end. I actually had a chance to win it, surprisingly, at the end. We right? did. At the very end, and we the totally had a chance for Moody A to, like, um, they made all the right plays. They made right. all the right plays, and Moody just missed the shot. And but, a tough but, shot. But made a very good attempt at making the shot. Good attempt, considering I think he knew how much time was on the clock. But just to kind of recap that game, um, let's talk about Luke Cornette versus Joel Embiid. Ooh. That was a matchup. Because Luke Cornette, we got to give him so much props. He's out here fighting. He was in Embiid's head. God, he totally did. But and so time. the first knock, his knock, the fr reason that he's even wearing the the, the, mask, the right? mask right now is because of Joel Embiid. Right. Right. So um, I definitely saw him getting bullied a lot by Joel Embiid, but stood up for himself. Right. Got not got beat down, but got right back up, and I think that really got into Joel Embiid's head. Right. And, and Embiid, he wasn't he wasn't liking that at all. Exactly. So there's something called I, I, um, Aikido. Is Aikido? I think the, the Japanese phrase. Japanese um, karate, kung fu, something. But it's all about like non-aggression, right? It's about getting out the way. And that's why I saw Cornette. Cornette wasn't necessarily trying to match Embiid's aggression, but he just wouldn't back down. And you can see Embiid getting more and more frustrated. It was frustrating for um, him, yeah. Embiid was actually having an easier time to, on Bonley, who had a, who still didn't have a great game, but really tried his hardest. Um, and Cornette was kind of outsmarting him. It was great seeing Cornette. Cornette's really solidified himself in this rotation. Um, he's going to be, I think he's going to be here next year now. It's kind of crazy to think of. We thought he'd be cut for Alonzo Trier a couple months ago. Right, but now that, he's, he, he definitely doesn't look like, look like the backup for us for KP. Right, that, like, he's, as we call him, him baby, baby KP. Yeah, him he's and, looking like that person for sure. He's going to replace that shooting. Yeah. Um, he, his his basketball IQ is so huge. Off the charts. I see him coming back as being a coach. You say not necessarily, but I could see him being a, a classic NBA coach, really understanding the moves, really being able to do the mathematics of the of, oh, he's an of everything. Guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I see, I see him being that person. I don't know if basketball is his passion like that, but I definitely see him being that person. My, my thing is, like we said, I think he got so much interest outside of basketball, he might do something else. But Luke is the kind of guy who's going to be successful wherever he goes. He's hitting those threes, and he shows you, because he's so much more limited in Ennis Cantor in terms of Ennis Cantor's body and physicality. Yet, Luke's IQ makes him a better defender. He knows where to be in the right spot. Um, so I got to give him props. He's earned his way on this rotation. I, I'm having someone like kind of be like a fake KP or baby KP as we say on the bench means we constantly have guys shooting threes at the five position it's going to keep defenders out of the paint he brings a lot to the team love it um Frank came Frank. back okay so Frank came back and, and Frank um good. definitely I, I feel like every time they sit him out for those couple of games he comes back more powerful and more relevant to the team. Right. And, and now this time was an injury. up a lot of points. Right. He still is so relevant on the court. Oh, yeah. This time, so this time was an injury. He was naturally he sit or sat or anything. He twisted his ankle. I think in it LA. Wasn't, it wasn't a DNP. Not it, a DNP. It was like injury. It was a injury, real injury. But uh, Frank came out, got to the line immediately, was driving to the to the rim. Had a couple of really nice moves. Had a nice little quick layup on Embiid. And a couple of others that missed. Had a great play. My favorite play of the game. Um, well, there are two plays I loved. One was uh, him scoring on it. Um, I think it was on Embiid again. Losing his shoe, running back down, stealing the ball, not coming so back he, down. So he showed course. aggressiveness in yep. this game, and he showed sort of a willingness to just kind of be there and, like, be in the team. And, and that play you're talking about where the shoe came off, he, the, the commentators made a note about the fact right. that not only did he have to put his shoe back on, but he made it to the other and end he of got the court. Back into play. So that was really good to see him doing that, and we, um, that's what we want to see from that's, Frank. That's the Frank we, we know and love. We're not looking for Frank to score major points, exactly. but, we, but we are looking for him to be a major player. I... Well said, mate. Aye. <laughs> so one more thing. Um, I, my favorite play of the game, though. Um, Frank blocks Jimmy Butler's shot. Gets the rebound, dishes to Moody. Moody drives in, comes back out, dishes it to Knox. Knox hits the bang three pointer. Everything about the play from the defense to Moody pushing to Knox shooting it, I just loved it. Speaking of Knox, 31 points career high. This kid seems to just be going yeah. better and better. He, he, told, he totally is. Um, can't believe he's our rookie giving us those kinds of points. Not look, I was not looking for our rookie to be giving us that, but it's great. So soon. But I have to say this. So one yep. of the things that I observed from watching the game, the last right. couple of games, watching the Pacers game, watching the 76ers game, these teams have stars on their teams and stars that are putting up points, that are defending, playing great offense, playing great defense. And what it showed me, unfortunately, was the lack of what we don't have as the Knicks organization. Right. We don't have those offensive players. We don't have those defensive players. We don't have a star. 
where these other teams have that. They don't have just one star. They have several stars. True, but we do have a star. We do. Now, who's, not, who's not playing? Who's not playing, but <laughs> with good playing. reason. And we'll be back soon. I think you really hit it on the head. That's why the summer is so important. That's why the draft is so important. Um, we're in the process, though. You know, we're not. We're, it's going to take us a while to get there. Philly sucked for a long time before they got Embiid to be this good, before they got Simmons to be this good. You know what I mean? So it, it takes time. You know, let me just put it this way. KP's a star. Mm -hmm. Kevin Knox is going to be a star. He is. He's Who young, but he's going to be a star. Right. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I'm looking at, you know, where I didn't even get that third guy this summer. I think whether it's John Morant in the draft, Zara Williamson, RJ Barrett, maybe even Cam Reddish or Romeo Langford, we're getting the next player. Um, but you can only be happy about the last game because we really did see um, the team play a lot of unselfish basketball. I thought Dotson and Cornette's basketball IQ was incredible. Um, Frank looked really good coming back. We're excited to see him Thursday. You know, he's got a ton of fans here. He's so family. Oh, yeah, we're here. in Europe, so a ton of fans so here. So it us. must be exciting. So, however, so saying that, so we didn't have Ennis Cantor, we didn't have Tim Hardaway, um, and these guys were able to still step up. Yeah, we're probably going to win more if they don't play. I said. Right. So the, the plus minus percentage with them on the court and off the court is kind of showing itself. Well, yeah, and some like the advanced stats, you got to look it up. It's, it's kind of all over the place sometimes, but I do know, I mean, I'm kind of just being a hitter in some ways, though, because, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Ennis and Tim. Um, but the team just seems to play sometimes better overall basketball when they're not playing. Um, so we'll see. Shout out quickly though to Alonzo Trier for wearing this to the game. Insane. Undrafted. Undrafted. Um, we'll drop a link below where you can buy this. Um, a fake site, by the way, copied our design. I was yeah, selling it. Yeah, kind of whack. Kind of so whack. That's pretty whack. Kind of whack. Someone, uh, someone stole our design, basically. Stole his design. Whack. Whack. But you want the real ones? Copy here. Shout out to Zoe for wearing it. That's huge. Uh, we met so many Knicks staff members tonight, too. It was really awesome meeting all these people who make the Knicks what they are, the social media team. Yep. So much work goes into this that we don't think of. So shout out to everyone who works for the Knicks that makes this team something we care about. The fact that we're here in London in a 10 and 30. We're here. We're here. We're here. 10 and 30. That's season. my tagline. <laughs> we're excited. We got to get this win Thursday. Screw the tag. Tag is on hold. We're in London. They better win for us. We want, uh, we want one win. One win, right? I'm here, I'm here in London in my hometown. Let's get a win. It's gonna win. But guys, a lot more content coming this week. This is just day one of the vlog. We're gonna keep you guys posted. Check out our Twitter because we're posting stuff there constantly of what's going on. Um, and we're hoping to be in a lot of other cool things and give you guys a lot of inside access. Thank you for watching, as always. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Terry and Trey, we are out. Peace out. Peace out. What's a, what's a British sign off? Cheerio. Hello. Cheerio. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. <laughs> I'm Australian. What happened? <laughs> what happened? Bye guys. Bye. As always, thanks again for watching our video. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. That way you'll know every time that we post a new video. And check out some of our other stuff.